Hello, in this video we're going to cover the compile command within the Cocos console. As you make changes to your project, it is well necessary to compile. If you're using Xcode for iOS development, just click the run button and it works A-OK. -okay. Actually, you can compile for iOS using Terminal if you really want. And for Android, you're most likely going to be compiling in the Terminal or Command Prompt depending on what platform you're on. So what we're going to do, just open up Terminal. Again, you just open up command prompt if you're on Windows, the process is the same. And I'm just going to open up a text data as well. It doesn't matter what text data, you're generally not going to need this. I'm just going to make a few notes for you before we actually put it within here. So, the general format of the compile command is cocos compile dash s, and the dash s is the path to your project so for example if I open up my project here it would be this path here it wouldn't be any of these folders it would be game one so if I can just ugh, did not want to add the other folders delete the oops. remove folder from project okay that's fine then so what it would be actually I know if by if I just put users for slash sonar system for slash desktop for slash game one so that will be the dash s parameter and the like I said the dash s is the path to your project then you do dash p and this is the platform that you're compiling for there are a bunch of platforms so I'm gonna put here dash p examples actually now I'm just gonna put dash p and I'm just gonna put within square brackets you can do Mac iOS web Android or win 32 so these are the ones that you can choose right here web is obviously only available for Cocos 2 DJS win 32 is well only available for on Windows and Mac. well Mac is on, Mac and iOS is only available on Mac so you just gotta use a bit of common sense but apart from that you should be all good and then after the P command which is the platform like I mentioned you put actually I'm just gonna put an example platform so I'm just gonna put Mac uh, you would after that put dash M dash M stands for mode you either do debug or release mode if you don't specify dash M because it is optional it just automatically does debug so I'm just gonna put release and here I'm just gonna put dash M debug Okay, just ignore that. You know what I'm going to do because I'm making these notes and these are pretty useful. I'm going to put them somewhere and there will be a link in the description to these notes. So don't think you just have to remember them from the video. It's all good. And then the final parameter is dash O and this is the output directory. And so for this you can put whatever you want. So I'm just going to put users for slash sonar, sy sonar systems for slash desktop for slash output so that's the general format of the compile command but there is a shortened version of this so if I just copy and paste it if you're already in if ter if your terminal or command prompt is already in the directory of your game aka this right here you can omit the s command and you can also omit the o command which is the output and i actually recommend that just cd to that directory then you can just keep it really simple instead of typing the same thing again and again and again and yeah it's that simple so it's going to show you a quick example of how to actually do this and what we was talking about there's also one other parameter that you can specify so I'm just gonna copy and paste this and put them in so I'm gonna put it a little lower and the optional parameter just put it right here is dash Q 
and well what the dash Q is it stands for quad it basically reduces the output that is output to the console you may or may not want that I generally do not like that at all so I'm just gonna make a little note of what it is quiet reduces output to the console whether that's the terminal or the command prompt and just format this a little bit and then we're all good so what I'm going to do like I said CD to my project directory which is this and because I've CD'd I don't need to do any of this but again the process is the same if you want to do dash s and dash o so I'm going to do compile no no I need to do cocos first cocos compile dash p mac dash m release click enter So this is just going to compile my project. If you've already compiled it and you haven't done many changes to your project, it will compile a lot faster. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so we are back now and the build is succeeded so well it basically gives you some information if it hasn't succeeded you'll say it hasn't succeeded build succeeded and it's just a bit more information about the release but yeah that's how you use the compile command like i said would there will be a link to this text actually i know what i'm going to do i'm going to put it on sonar learning as a solution so you can go and check that out because there's no point me running the compile command for all the different platforms on different operating systems because the process well is the same you just gotta do it and wait so if you have any questions feel free to post on that particular solution that I'm going to put on Sonar Learning. Don't really don't need to remember it because I'm not even going to tell you because I'm going to put a link in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. And well, it's the weekend very soon, so have a great weekend as well.